Japan's benchmark stock market index, the Nikkei 225, has achieved a historic milestone by breaking the 40,000 mark for the first time, signaling a significant economic comeback after decades of stagnation. During Monday's morning trading, the Nikkei 225 gained 1%. Reaching 40,308.85, buoyed by gains on Wall Street and an upbeat investor sentiment towards Japanese firms. Tech shares, including Tokyo Electron and Advantis, were among the top performers, reflecting the global enthusiasm for technology stocks. This surge in the Nikkei comes as foreign investors capitalize on the cheap yen and corporate governance reforms in Japan, which have enhanced shareholder returns. In 2023, the Nikkei rose by over 28%, outperforming the S&P 500. In what was a bumper year for the U.S. stock market, the index's rise is particularly notable as it surpasses its 1989 peak, a time when Japan's economy faced an asset crash leading to years of economic stagnation. The revival of Japan's stock market is part of a broader rally in U.S. shares driven by excitement around advancements in artificial intelligence and significant gains in U.S. tech companies like NVIDIA. However, Japan's overall economy faces challenges, including a shrinking population and a rigid labor force, which have impacted growth. Despite the stock market's success, Japan's economy has entered a recession, recently ceding its position as the world's third largest economy to Germany. This development in Japan's stock market is a complex tale of resurgence in the financial sector, juxtaposed with ongoing economic challenges, offering a unique perspective on the global economic landscape. In a historic financial milestone, Japan's Nikkei stock index has soared past the 40,000 mark for the first time, fueled by the burgeoning AI sector. This landmark achievement reflects the growing influence of artificial intelligence in the global market and Japan's robust economic landscape. The surge in the Nikkei index is largely attributed to the increasing investments and advancements in AI technologies, which have sparked a wave of enthusiasm among investors and tech enthusiasts alike. The rise of the Nikkei index amidst AI fanfare signifies not only Japan's strong economic performance, but also the country's commitment to embracing and integrating AI into various sectors. This development is a testament to the potential of AI as a driving force in the global economy, particularly in areas like robotics, automation, and data analytics. Japan's achievement in breaking the 40,000 barrier showcases the country's position as a leading player in the AI revolution, setting a precedent for other economies to follow. The Nikkei's milestone is a clear indicator of the growing importance of AI in shaping economic trends and future investments. Stay tuned as we delve into this exciting development and explore how Japan's embrace of AI is reshaping its economic landscape and influencing global markets. In a strategic move to empower its AI sector, China is offering computing vouchers to support underpowered startups amidst global tech challenges. Facing U.S. chip restrictions, China's AI startups are struggling with access to essential computing resources. To address this, at least 17 city governments, including Shanghai, are providing computing vouchers to subsidize AI startups. These vouchers, valued between $140,000 and $280,000, will enable startups to access AI data centers for training large language models and other AI tasks. This initiative is a response to the challenges posed by the scarcity of crucial chips, exacerbated by the U.S.'s tightening control over AI chip exports to China. The vouchers aim to alleviate the rising costs of data center operations and ensure the continued development of AI technologies in China. The move also reflects China's broader strategy to reduce dependence on foreign technology and foster self-reliance in the AI field. By offering these subsidies, China is not only supporting its startups, but also encouraging the use of domestic AI technologies and resources. This development highlights China's commitment to maintaining its competitive edge in the global AI landscape, despite facing significant technological and regulatory hurdles. In a significant move to support its artificial intelligence startups, China is taking steps to level the playing field amidst U.S. chip restrictions. 
Shanghai and at least 16 other city governments have pledged to provide computing vouchers to AI startups, helping them cope with rising data center costs due to the scarcity of crucial chips. These vouchers, worth between $140,000 and $280,000, can be used in AI data centers for training large language models and other tasks. This initiative comes as China's tech giants, including Alibaba, Tencent, and ByteDance, limit the rental of NVIDIA GPS and reserve them for internal use and key clients. The Biden administration's tightening of China's access to AI chips has led to companies stockpiling, repurposing gaming chips, or turning to the black market. Subsidies, however, are only a partial solution. Analysts point out that while they address cost barriers, they don't solve the scarcity of resources. Beijing is also planning a subsidy program for AI groups using domestic chips, aiming to reduce reliance on foreign components. China is building an alternative to big text data centers and cloud services, with a network of state-run data centers where AI companies can rent computing power. This is part of the East Data West computing project, aimed at lowering energy consumption and efficiently powering AI workloads. These developments reflect China's strategic efforts to bolster its AI sector. In the face of global technological challenges and regulatory hurdles, this week's highlights in the realm of technology and AI include significant developments from the UAE and Qatar. At the Trade Tech Forum, the UAE announced the Trade Sustain AI Initiative. This initiative aims to integrate artificial intelligence AI with global trade and sustainability efforts running alongside the World Trade Organization's 13th Ministerial Congress in Abu Dhabi. The initiative focuses on leveraging AI in supply chains to enhance global trade and combat climate change. Key areas include reducing fuel consumption and carbon emissions, by optimizing shipping routes and developing climate-resilient trade infrastructure. Meanwhile, Qatar is making strides in becoming an AI tech hub, as evidenced at the Web Summit in Doha with over 1,100 startups and participants from 81 countries. The summit saw Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdulrahman Al Thani commit to investing over $1 billion international and regional venture capital funds. The summit highlighted Qatar's focus on AI and its ambition to be a regional IT hub, including a significant investment in French technology startups and technology funds. Additionally, OpenAI is currently under the scrutiny of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. The SEC is investigating whether OpenAI's investors were misled, focusing on internal communications of CEO Sam Altman. This scrutiny highlights the growing concerns over antitrust and national security in the AI sector. These developments underscore the dynamic and rapidly evolving landscape of AI and technology. In the Middle East, reflecting the region's commitment to innovation and sustainability, this week in the Middle East, significant strides in AI integration and new trade initiatives have made headlines. Firstly, the Abu Dhabi International Holding IHC, valued at $238 billion, has added an AI-powered observer, Aden Insight, to its board. This groundbreaking move aims to enhance decision-making for human board members. Aden Insight, developed in collaboration with G42 and Microsoft, represents the UAE's ambition to become a leading AI hub, focusing on testing and regulating AI technologies. Its role includes compliance monitoring, risk assessment, and attending IHC board meetings as a non-voting observer. In another major development, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk has filed a lawsuit against OpenAI's chief Sam Altman and others. Musk alleges that they have deviated from the company's original mission of developing AI for the benefit of humanity shifting instead towards profit motives. The lawsuit claims that OpenAI, co-founded by Musk and others in 2015, has breached its initial contract by focusing on financial gains and keeping its most advanced AI model, GPT-4, a secret. This legal action highlights the growing tensions in the AI industry over ethical and profit-driven approaches. These events underscore the dynamic nature of the AI industry from innovative corporate governance in the Middle East to legal challenges in the AI sector. Stay tuned as we explore these transformative developments and their implications.